Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com with Christmas season here and Christmas coming up soon. We're actually shooting this on, what is today, the 20th, 19th, something like that. So we're a few days before Christmas. Um, the end of the week anyways, Christmas is coming up. I'm not sure when this video will actually go live, but a lot of people looking at cameras and that will be going on even after Christmas as we get the after Christmas sales, the January sales. You know, you get a lot of good deals and a lot of people do a lot of shopping. People wait to see if they got a certain camera for Christmas. They didn't, so then they go out shopping. And we have a viewer writing in uh, with a question about what Sony camera to buy. So we've got, uh, let's see here, Fletcher writing in, this was a comment on one of the videos, one question, Sony A7, Sony A6000, or Sony A6300? My budget only allows me one of these choices. Please advise, thank you. So, interesting selection that you're choosing from, an A7, and I'm assuming you mean the original A7, which is an older full frame, uh, still a decent camera, uh, but less expensive, and it would put it in line with an A6000 or an A6300. Out of those three, um, you didn't mention what you are, your specific shooting style is or what you like to shoot or if you need to do video or anything like that. So without those parameters, I'm going to tell you which one I would pick and why. And then I'm also going to, as I normally do, throw it out to our viewers and they can, they can chime in too and help you figure out from the different opinions what might be best for you. I would, in this situation, go with the A6300. The reason for that is the 6300 is very capable and uh, it has very, very good image quality in most situations comparable to the A7. There's going to be certain situations, perhaps in maybe in some extreme low light situations. In other words, the A7 may have a little bit better high ISO ability. Um, and then there's also the advantage of the A7 having full frame, so you get a little bit shallower depth of field. Be aware of those, but the reason I would still go with the A6300 is you're getting still very good image quality. You're getting a newer body than an A7 or an A6000 that delivers 4K and some pretty good 4K video. Uh, it's pretty much second to none. We're down sampling from, I think it's 6K on the A6300. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, folks, but I believe, if memory serves, that we're down sampling from a 6K uh, intake down to 4K, so we're getting a very, very nice, clean 4K out of the 6300. The 6000 doesn't do that, and uh, the A7, I'm pretty sure, doesn't do that either. Uh, so I will go with the 6300 because for the price, you're getting that advantage, that really good 4K. I do a lot of video, so that's why that's going to factor in for me. And also, uh, it's, it's a sweet spot right now because the 6500 has been out for a while. You can get the 6300 for a really decent price. It's excellent for video and for photography with adapters, either smart adapters or dumb adapters. You can get into just about any other lens on the market and use it on that camera. And it just becomes a very good value. There's a lot of things, uh, accessories for the Sonys, and uh, there's lots of good um, batteries available, like the Wasabi batteries. And so I would be content for me with the A6300 over the A6000 and the A7, uh, mostly uh, because of the 4K, but also it's a newer camera than both of the other two, and I think it's going to perform a little better for you. Definitely than the A6000, which has no 4K video. So that doesn't, it rules it out for me as a video camera. If I was solely into photography, then I might seriously still look at an A6000. But the 6300 to me is a darling for value right now because, as I said, because the 6500 has been out for a while, the price on the 6300 is very decent right now. And it gives you a, a lot of the goodness of the 6500 at a much better price. So that's why I would go with that. What would you guys do out of the A7, the A6000, or the A6300? Or I'll even open it up. Is there another Sony in this price bracket or close to it that you would go with instead? Uh, what would you do and why? What would you? What camera would you get and why? Let him know why so that he can see what your reasoning is and see which is more pertinent for what he's doing. And uh, I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say here. Thanks for your question, Fletcher. And stay tuned, folks. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.